The MCU is cooked, it's finished, it's creatively bankrupt, it's over, it's done, it's finished. Or is it, right? Or is it, right? Hear me out, hear me out. So, just been announced that Robbie Downey Jr. is coming back to the MCU, even though he told everyone he wasn't. <laughs> it seems to be the way he's coming back to take up the mantle of Doctor Doom and... There's been, there's been all sorts out there about it. People are loving it. People are hating it. People are just like, let them get on with it. Do you know what I mean? I, I have kind of mixed thoughts about it. I can't lie. And I'm going to sort of route through them now. I'd be interested to know, anybody who's listening, what you guys think about it. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you think it'd be good? Do you think they'll do it in the right way with the Russos obviously taking um, control of it as well? Yeah. And do you think it's a good replacement for Ken? Because obviously, get the elephant out of the room. The reason this situation is happening is because of uh, the whole Kang... Jennifer Major's situation, so we won't go too much into that, but obviously they decided not to use Kang or recast him, which is a decision in itself. It's a shame that Kang won't be continuing, because I think Kang would have been sort of a great next villain, and the way they were kind of doing it in Loki Season 1 seemed like it was going to be the way, and then one of his variants got beaten by a bunch of ants, and you're going, right, is this the next guy? Is this the next Thanos? Do you know what I mean? It didn't quite have that aura that Thanos had leading up to Avengers, um, Infinity War, etc., so... I mean, I think for me personally, when I first saw it, I actually didn't mind it. I was actually quite like, this is quite interesting. Reasons for that is like, I, I do think that, again, that with what happened what with, with Kang and all this kind of situation, people not quite taken to Ant-Man Quantumania and all this stuff. Like, even Loki season two, Kang was a bit mid, I can't lie. So all these things in consideration, you kind of got to look at it like, right, do we continue with Kang when people aren't really taken to him? And obviously there's that whole situation. Or are we going to sort of try and take up something new, try something different? Obviously, Secret Wars is coming up, and one of the key figures that isn't, hasn't been introduced in the MCU yet is Doctor Doom. Can we switch it up? Can we do something different, right? So I don't think people would really debate putting him in there at any point, or having Doomsday or any of this kind of stuff happening before Secret Wars. I think people are more aggrieved about the, the fact that Robert Downey Jr. is doing it. And initially, when I saw it, I was like, whoa, like... Are they just doing, doing some Iron Man variant that becomes Doctor Doom or becomes uh, Victor, uh, Victor Von Doom or whoever, right? Is it is it going to be one of those things? And I kind of thought it was like that. And I actually did some research and it's been popping up all over um, Twitter and stuff. Like there's actual comic book angles where there was one there. It's basically um, they switch body. So Tony Stark goes into Doctor Doom's body and Doctor Doom goes into Tony Stark's body. And it's quite a nice uh, storyline actually where essentially the name Tony Stark is sort of tarnished, I believe. And so he decides to keep the body. Um, I do think that's like an interesting angle of it, like almost being two kind of equal sort of battling out each other. And, and the interesting thing about Doctor Doom, right? I'm not a massive Doctor Doom fan or anything like that. I do think he's cool. Obviously that iconic shot of him like ripping out Thanos' skeleton elite, right? Um, and I'm sure you guys will be able to tell me other countless moments that have happened with Doctor Doom in the comics, but... It's like his blend between like, is it like science, technology, or that kind of stuff, and then magic as well. It's kind of like this, like, you've got like the Iron Man angle, the technology and all this stuff, but then you've got the magic side of like the Doctor Strange side. And obviously that kind of back and forth between Doctor Strange and Iron Man was sort of slightly touched on within Infinity War and uh, Endgame, about how they're sort of, uh, they're egotistical sort of characters, they're sort of big characters, they they like the attention, they like the to like feel important and all that kind of stuff. Um, so you're kind of moulding them into one, in, in my eyes anyway. And do I think uh, Robert Downey Jr. could do that? Absolutely. Like, he can definitely do that. Is he the right person to do it? Pfft, I, I, put it this way, he will do it and he will do it well, right? And they'll build it around him and he'll be this massive thing. But then, quite rightly, what people have pointed out is like, d doesn't it mean like the whole thing about Endgame is kind of gone to nothing now? Like, he made that sacrifice, build the whole entire MCU around him previously... And then we're just going to do it all again. Like, and it, it just screams that Disney are just like, obviously with all the, the, the BS aside, they just have, they've kind of run out of ideas a little bit. They don't really know where to go. So they're just going back to the well of like, look, people aren't really taking to our shows. No one likes Secret Invasion. No one likes Marvels. No one went to go watch Marvels, all this stuff. Like, do we risk it with new people where obviously all this stuff is like come out in the like, like phase four and whatnot? where we tr risk it with new people, try these new people and it doesn't work? Or do we go back to what we know is good? And you've got to think as like a big, these uh, 
Disney CEO type, what they're going to think. They're going to see the numbers and the profit margins and all this stuff. They're going to see all the numbers and in the red and they're going to go, right, when it was green and they're going to associate with people like Robert Downey Jr. and whatever, and they're going to go, right, we're going to get him, we're going to use him to sort of drive the MCU back to financial success or whatever. So in that way, you can kind of see why they did it. But it is a shame that you kind of want to see new actors try it and new storylines and not have to go back to the Iron Man world constantly. Like, if people keep asking bloody, like, Chris Evans, the same thing. Like, you can play Captain America again. It's like, leave the guys alone, bro. Like, they spend, like, 10 years of their life doing this stuff, like, constantly being asked all these questions. And I don't get... I don't doubt that they probably enjoyed it and would like to come back or haven't thought about it. But if you're trying to build a universe out and all this kind of stuff, it, it just seems a bit dry to keep going back to the same part, the same well, trying to re like reintroduce characters that have been there before, did it constantly. It's, just, and it's a shame. And what I did actually cross my mind as well about all that kind of stuff, and I guess it relates to Robert Downey Jr. as well, the fact that the actual comic books, so like in the comic books, you've got these characters that are built. So you've got like your quintessential ones, like your Captain America and your Superman and all these people. And they're very sort of like one type, you're like your white male, your da 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 all this kind of stuff, right? Very few women, they are, they are there, but very few, very few sort of black, Asian, etc. characters, right? Very, very low representation. And then you get to like modern day comic books and there is like tons of it, right? And so people know and have built up a rapport and a, there's a history of these characters like Spider-Man, like Captain America, like Superman, like Wolverine, all these guys, right? Yeah, you've got all that history of those guys, like just sort of one type of person, say. And then modern day, you've got all these new different variants of different people and all these, you know, crazy, crazy amount of people that have like been introduced in the comics now, like Miles Morales, for example. And obviously they're trying to do it now with the MCU, where you've had the, the historical people and now they're trying to transition to the new people. But because the new guys, like America Chavez, example, and all these guys that are slightly newer, they haven't built up as much of a history or a poor with the, the fan base. So it's going to be much harder to introduce them into the the big screen because there's not much of a pool there. So what you're going to need to do is make them cool, make them cool, make them fun, make them interesting, make them deep, make, you know, you could say, just give them their own show and that. But like, I, I didn't watch Echo, but from what the sounds of it is, it's like, they didn't really do that that well. Do you know what I mean? And it's hard, like to, hard to get it right. Hard to get it right, I think. Um, so with, with the, all the Doctor Doom stuff, it's like people were calling out to, Give it to uh, so he's Latvian in the comics and forgive me for not quite knowing is it Romani or people calling for that type of actor to take up the role like one of these guys there was someone that was, people were shouting about who sort of fit the profile fit the the culture could sort of use that as part of the storyline of Doctor Doom and sort of understands the representation of it I think it's a great idea um, and it does feel like it's a shame that the business guys and the CEOs are going back to the well of the Robert Downey Juniors and knowing what works rather than exploring those types. But then again, you come back to it, you see what happens when you try stuff new and people don't like it. It's like, shit, like you're kind of stuck in a little bit, do you know what I mean? So I don't doubt they'll make it good. I don't doubt it'll be exciting and they'll, they'll do all this cool stuff and they'll probably put bloody Tobey Maguire as, you know, some team captain or something. <laughs> I don't know, like, they'll, they'll do all, all the kind of madness and they'll, they'll put like this... Um, bunch of cameos in and that they'll make it cool they'll make it about him and he will be good in it but it's, it just feels like it's a shame that they're not really exploring it with other people giving other people a chance and letting new storylines flourish like and unfortunately when you've built up such a history with certain characters and they, they've ended their storylines in such nice ways in endgame and it's well past or whatever and it's like let that be that just uh, there's a lot of this like sequels, reboots, all this stuff. Just sometimes just let stuff be like, just let it chill. Let it do like do its thing. If the new stuff doesn't work, it doesn't work. Unfortunately, that, that's just how it is, unfortunately. But invest the time, take your time with the stories, really get into depth because the, the constant love, like people, writers and showrunners of people like of the, the MCU TV shows that are coming out that don't read the source material, don't understand the characters or the culture behind what they're making. And then, they wonder why their ratings are down and they're getting cussed out for making something. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, you don't understand the source material. You don't understand this. Like, so there's all these kinds of mixed emotions and feelings and ideas around it. And I, I, at the end of the day, they'll make it good. Robbie Downey Jr. is a fantastic actor. He will make it good. 
and it'll probably end up being some kind of variant of Iron Man or an Iron Man t- like I'm trying to think of an example where in the MCU or something where they've changed the character but essentially okay Spider-Man for example in the MCU where instead of he had an Uncle Ben right but essentially his Uncle Ben was Tony in the MCU if that makes sense like that was kind of his like go get him kind of moment even though he was Spider-Man before if that makes sense um at least that's how I took it as a Spider-Man fan. So it's almost like you're taking that and sort of applying it here where Tony Stark is sort of a slightly different version of himself where he is Doctor Doom kind of thing. That's kind of how I think it will happen. God knows what they're going to do. I, 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 wait, are they doing like a mutant saga after Secret Wars? Mutant thing. So they'll probably reboot the whole damn thing. There'll probably be a new Iron Man or whatever. So <laughs> anywho, um, yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on it. I just wanted to ramble on about some ideas that I've been seeing and you know all this kind of stuff and I do hope that they get it right because I think people are missing that kind of excitement of the MCU you know that just like not taking it too seriously but like you're loving it in the moment kind of thing like I apply the same to like football right so like when I watch matches I'll be so into it when I'm watching it win or lose or draw win loving it in a good mood lose I'll be annoyed for like 20 minutes and then I'll go back to my normal life you know like that kind of thing kind of want the same for MCU, like, you're not going to get these deep, you know, these, uh, I don't know, cinematic stuff, like, I don't know, I I can't think of one off the top of my head, but, like, these really, like, uh, emotionally impactful stories with the MCU, you're kind of not really going to get it, because they need to cater to such a wide audience. Unfortunately, then they're just not going to do it. As much as we want, like, this dark, gritty MCU films, oh, well, I do. <laughs> you're not really going to get it. Um, So, I just want it to be fun again. Just want it to be fun. That's it. And yeah, make it fun again, Dizzy. Come on, make it fun, bro. 